be And take a piece of my heart, babe Because there's no one in the world That can do it better than you can Take a piece of my heart, babe Take a piece of my heart, babe Come in Hi you okay? I thought we could brush each other's hair and chat. Isn't that what girls do? It is such a cliche. I'm sorry my Marian plan was such a fail. It's fine. Mum's always liked Ted more than me anyway. She does not. She wishes I was more like him. More outdoorsy, more rugged, more hetero. That is so much crap. Is it? She loves having a gay son and being cool about it. It gives her cred. Damn, you're probably right. Ugh. Hey, I was thinking. We've been living together since I was 13. Mm hmm Have you ever, you know, had feelings for Ted? What? Well, I just wondered if maybe that's why you're so upset. How can you even ask that? Sorry. Why have you had feelings for him? Oh, that's disgusting. Now you know how I feel. Was it really so bad sharing a room with him? It was a bit of a slob, but no. Well, maybe it's just hard for you now that Ted's got someone else. Stop it with the pop psychology. Well, maybe you're going to miss him. I guess it's possible. You still have me. When you're not legs in the air at McDreamy's place. It's not like me and Mitch are going to move in together. Probably not. You are such a bitch! <laughs> oh, it's the bitterness of spinsterhood. <laughs> well, it's kind of your choice, isn't it? You never did tell me what happened to Kent. Shut up. But you really liked him. That's how it starts. And you end up like Ted, falling in love, being a pain about it. Well, that's his choice, and it's what he wants. It's his life. And maybe, maybe it's worth it in the end. You are such a hopeless optimist. <laughs> you know that girls don't really brush each other's hair, right? What? <laughs> what? Hey. Yeah, hey. You want a beer? Good. So, how was your day? Pretty average. Is the uh, leave going? Yeah, he's out the back. But please don't argue with him. What's going on here? Burning starters? It's my job. Not for much longer, so I thought I'd get some practice in. Oh, I don't know if I'll be moving anytime soon. Great. So we'll see her today? Here's a suggestion. Let's talk about something she else. She gave me a date. March. Right. OK, here it comes. Well, that's good, isn't it? She's staying with Gordon until then so she can get half the house and stuff. Oh. I didn't pick that. Doesn't feel all that romantic. Women are practical. I like to think ahead, plan things. Just ask Tiana. Aren't you going to give me shit about it? If this is going to happen, then I'm happy for you. Not the answer I was expecting. Look, it's been a bit weird for me, you being in love and all serious. You were more fun when you were a good time girl. But you're right. It's time to move on. So here's to March. You were right to give me a rack up. I hadn't thought it through. I'll always be here to give you the annoying chart read when you need it. I hope so, mate. Well, they're not going to turn themselves, you know. I'll come visit you and your wife and a spazzo kid when you move to the burbs. What about you? What about me? No randoms, not? Not tonight. Hey! Alice is here. What are you doing here? I tried to get a booking, but you're way too popular. That's what some people say. Do you have any plans? After work? There's this guy. There is? Yeah, he kind of owes me a drink. Oh. 
Okay. You know, he's a little self-involved, but I don't know, there's something about him. So, what time is he picking you up? 11. He's bringing a nice bottle of wine. Very nice. Sounds like a real catch. We'll see. If he doesn't do a runner. What kind of wine? Red. And sometimes, you just have to make your own timing. Some other day.